Well, good evening and welcome to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a field test of the Ace Beam T35. I want to thank Ace Beam for sending me this slide and making the review possible. So, what do we have? 18650 based tack light available in neutral or cool white. I like the feel, the weight, appreciate the very aggressive texturing. It's warm and humid tonight. I'll get a chance to test this out. Very aggressive strike bezel. It's just a bit on the long side. The only thing that I have that is comparable in terms of battery and outputs is this uh, PowerTac M5 G3, so that'll give you a rough idea right there. Doesn't seem like much, however, this will fit comfortably in the knife pocket of my 511 strike pants. Never had an accidental activation in years of use. I did have some issues with similar carry with the T35. Now, it does come with a holster, clip onto your tack vest, you're good to go. Tail cap switch on off momentary side switch to control output levels. Well, I have average size hands, depending on uh, how large your hands are. You may find it difficult to get a grip that allows simultaneous access to both controls. So depending on how you intend to carry and deploy the light, grip changes may be required during your operation. Is that an issue? I don't know. All I can do is raise it. You are the one who has to think about it and make the final decision. Output levels are ultra low, low, medium, high, turbo, and strobe. When the light is on, press and hold the side switch for direct access to strobe. Click to return to where you were. There is no direct to strobe from off. There is no direct to turbo from on or off. Lockout is old school. Well, I know you're probably here for the beam shots. You want to see how this light performs in the field. So give me about another 45 minutes and we'll get out there and find out. At the bridge in ultra low, low, look out over to the creek medium good 35 plus yards line of sight high and everyone's favorite turbo and there is the side to side very uh, definitive edge on the spill First practical exercise of the evening, since the T-35 is advertised as a tack light, I'm going to do more law enforcement scenarios tonight. First scenario, here at the playground, had a suspicious person call. My partner and I just arrived on site. There was a suspicion that he may be selling drugs. Don't know. I'm going to get started. I'm doing my approach to the area here in medium and let's see how this works go through here hey don't see anything around in there wait a minute i thought i heard something over there hey if you're there let me see your hands Okay, it must have been an animal moving through there. Don't see anything. 
I'm going to slow down and look very carefully inside the trees. Move around to here. If that was a person, he may have gone off in this direction. So that's where we're going to continue our search. Okay, we came down the path, heard something over in the trees, thought we saw somebody. He took off. Now, I'm a veteran. I don't chase anything. That's why we have rookies and dogs. So my partner, the rook, took out after him, but he yelled back, threw something, threw something. So now I'm doing a slow search and investigation here in low. I want to see how this low mode works. And all I know is that the perp came this way. I don't know what he tossed, if he did toss something, if so, where. So we're going to see practically how well this low output level works for this type of relatively close quarters search and investigation. Also have to be very careful. I'm not just looking for contraband. I've got to be very careful about uh, my old buddies, Marvin Moccasin and Carl Copperhead. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Pay dirt. Well, I'm at another creek. My partner did catch the guy, but he didn't catch the guy. And uh, apparently, we've got a small bit player on his way to the PD right now. And uh, he ran his mouth off and told us that uh, the person we really want is still on the loose out here. So thankfully backup has arrived. I'm here with a couple more officers. We're just uh, searching through the preserve. And uh, one of the things I noticed coming through here, right, right there, you can see where this is really trampled down. Now that could be I don't know, it could be a number of things, but it's it's very possible that someone ran through here. This is the entrance to the outer trail loop. Great way to go off and uh, find about 5,000 different places to hide. I'm in uh, medium output level, by the way. So what we're going to do is have a couple of officers head down the outer loop trail. I'm going to go around and head this direction and go up to the observation tower and see if we can catch them in some sort of a pincer movement. But before I do that, I want to get over here and just do a brief search around the tree line. Now we're at a gap between these trees. There's another tree there in the middle. That's a good uh, 100 yards from my current position. Uh, medium not really doing the job in this wide open bright area. So I'm going to pop it up to high. There we go. I could do decent detection uh, in these circumstances easily out to uh, 125, maybe 150. Here is another look at Hi, I've stepped this off before. It's a good 125 to that uh, far tree. It's a very bright night tonight. I uh, thought I saw a flashlight over there. It's, uh, it's too early for that to be the other two officers. So I think the guy has gotten off the main trail and uh, there, are, there are a lot of open paths like this right here that you can work your way through. I think he may be headed uh, more or less towards the observation tower, which is off in that direction. And this is Turbo. I'm looking back across one of those long walkable paths I talked about. This one, in fact, goes to the other 
uh, side of the concrete path, that tree in the distance is over 175 yards. Once again, there is the side to side. The uh, hope here is by putting up kind of this wall of light, we can convince this guy not to move any deeper into the preserve and instead work his way back towards the parking lot area where we have a number of people waiting for him with some very nice gifts, including handcuffs, uh, zip ties. In fact, he's going to get a free Uber ride to jail. Now, I'm feeling some, uh, some nice heat there in the head area of the, of the light. It's getting a bit worse, uh, not terribly uncomfortable, but getting there. And now it's forcing me to just shift my hand a little bit further away from the uh, head area of the light. In fact, I'm having to do a second shift right now. And this is still holding up. I mean, theoretically, after a minute, minute and a half, it should have stepped down. But uh, it's just going and going, and it is really cranking out the heat now. I'm having to move my hand further back. Okay, roughly two and a half. I think we've lost something. It's really difficult for me to see that uh, tree in the distance. But I was anticipating a bit more of a hard ramp down. This seems to be more gradual. And let me move my hand back up. Yeah, the heat is still there. It's pretty significant, but uh, not quite as bad. move just a bit over here. Yeah, I've completely lost that tree in the distance, and we've uh, moved over three minutes, so this is appearing a bit more like a steady state, and even with mosquito repellent, I'm getting uh, bugs all over me, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this down and move on up to the observation tower. I'm at the top of the observation tower in high output level looking back onto a trail. Now the other two officers came through here earlier, haven't found anything. Let me go up into turbo real quick. There we go. Greatly expanded field of view. So the plan is now to have one officer go off in this direction, head deep west in the preserve. Another one will come take my position in Overwatch, I'm going to head back to the parking lot area and see if we can nail this guy. So, good news, I'm just following the path here in low output level. We were successful at driving that guy back towards the parking lot area. He ran into a couple of... Uh, Uber drivers, I mean plain OPD officers, and he's getting that free ride, especially since he had his full supply still on him. So another successful operation tonight as I move over here, look out over yet another creek. Let's go up to medium. It's very hard to get an angle where we can see all the way back to the full 55 or so yards line of sight. There's high. And let me move around this way. 
as I uh, mentioned in my last video, as I go up into Turbo here, I'll continue to create content for the SAR team, which is the private community in the channel, but I'm going to have to scale back public reviews to deal with a, a couple of events in my life, which include increased support responsibility for my mother who has Alzheimer's and dementia. So I just want to say to everyone who's been with me for at least some part of the last three and a half years, it was a fun ride. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe I'll see you around sometime.